Well, I should be in Brighton today and along the south coast, but I've got no car. I've got a new car on order, but it's a month late. It's stuck at the port. So instead, I got the train to Scarborough. So for today's shoot, I'm actually shooting Polaroid. So I've got two cameras with me. I've got my Fuji Instax, which is loaded with color film, but I've also got my Polaroid One Step, and that's actually loaded at the moment with black and white film. But apart from that, I haven't really got anything to talk about in this video. I'm not talking about any particular techniques, so um, what do you want to know? Do you want to know about composition perhaps? Well, that's easy. Just learn everything about the rule of thirds, then forget it and never use that technique again. Do you want to know how to improve by shooting film? Well, that's easy too. Just embrace it, enjoy it, learn from it, then just go back to shooting digital again. Do you want to know how to make money from landscape photography? Well, that's an easy one too. Don't do workshops, don't do YouTube because everyone else is doing that. Do anything other than that and you're onto a winner. Do you want to know how to shoot seascapes and shoot creatively at the coast? Well, that's another easy one. You just go to my website and book my Whitby workshop for shooting seascapes and creatively at the coast.
Well, today's shoot is really point and shoot. There's not much control over these cameras. So all I'm concentrating on is composition. So even if you don't approve of these cameras, they're not to your taste. I certainly am getting a lesson in composition. So why film and why Polaroid? Um, well, simply because I enjoy it and it's part of a project that I'm doing of shooting the coast and the countryside in a different way, different to digital. So a project is a great way to improve your photography. It gives you a subject or a theme to concentrate on, a technique to go through. You're focused on that project, on that idea, and you can get the best out of it because of that. So having a project, something to concentrate your mind on, concentrate your photography on, is a great way to improve too. So when I'm doing these Polaroid shots, obviously when I take the picture, that's it. There's nothing else I can do to the shot. I can't crop it later on. I have to make sure I get the picture right in camera. And that's something you should do. Learning to crop in camera rather than post-processing is a great way to improve your photography as well. So before you press the shutter, just like I'm doing today, you have to stop, stop and think. Make sure that that picture is as good as it could get. Make sure you're 100% happy with that image. Make sure everything's right. Make sure everything that's meant to be in the picture is included and any distractions are excluded. Do the cropping in camera, not in post-processing. If you don't in post, then you're correcting a mistake. So you've obviously made a mistake in the first place. So do your cropping in camera by stopping and thinking before you press the button and make sure everything's 100% right before you commit to that image. Now what's the one thing that this camera doesn't have on the back? Well, an LCD screen, of course, as you do in digital. So in digital, you have an LCD screen which allows you to preview and uh, look at the image afterwards. Obviously, I can look at the image after I've taken it and make a very slight adjustment, but I never do. I only have a look at these pictures when I've uh, got back home. I never have a look at them. So this is something I've mentioned before. You could switch your LCD screen off so you have no preview, you have no uh, review afterwards, and you have no histogram. And the idea of that is that I think digital photography has made us a little bit lazy. Um, it's made it easier, of course, but it's also made us lazy. So when you read the histogram, you'll have a look at it and see what the camera's seeing. And you may overexpose the image if it's not the histogram's not far enough over to the right, or you may push it the other way and underexpose on purpose, whatever. But are you understanding why you're doing that or why the camera's making you do that? You can overexpose an image if the camera's underexposing it, but do you understand why the camera is underexposing it? What is the camera seeing to make that scene underexposed in the first place? And that's a skill I think that's been lost in digital photography. Understanding the scene, understanding how your camera's seeing the scene. And so you can predict what the camera's gonna do before you even look at the LCD screen or the histogram. So that's a great way to learn as well. Switch that LCD screen off now and again. Well, this isn't my first visit to Scarborough. I've been here many times before, but hopefully I'm improving every time I come here. So that's another way to improve your photography, to return to locations you've been to before. Now, if you've been to a location and you've perhaps been disappointed with the results you've got from there, especially compared to other people's, well, remember that the shot you've seen, the one you're comparing it to, 
that's probably not the first visit the photographer has made to that location. They've probably been back time and time again to get the right light, the right composition. So it's not a first visit, that's quite rare. So you have to re-return, you have to keep going back to locations to revisit, to get the best light, to learn about that location, and only then will you get the best of it. So what have I been shooting today? Well, it's mainly been colour, lines and shape. All things that will work with my Polaroid images and therefore things that will work with your digital images. Whether mine come out or not is another matter entirely. Well, that's my morning in Scarborough done. Now, if you like at least some of the images I got from my Polaroid camera, think of what you could do with your digital camera. See you next time. Do you know the best thing about shooting Polaroid? It puts the fun back into photography. Fun, 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 fun. <laughs> they think I'm mad. And they're probably right. <laughs>